Once again, the breaking news at this hour is that Rodney King is dead at 47. He was found at the bottom of a swimming pool at his home. Rodney King, of course, the man whose beating and subsequent trial and the acquittal of those police officers sparked uh, the worst riot in Los Angeles history, or one of the worst riots back in 1992. CNN, uh, Roland Martin joins me now by phone. Roland, what, what it's your thoughts on uh, the, uh, the sad end to a difficult life on behalf of Rodney King? Well, how obviously just stunning I mean, you think about uh, beyond the beating, the, the subsequent arrest that came after that, uh, substance, abuse, substance abuse, all those different things. Uh, it, just a very, very difficult uh, 47 years of his life. Uh, but, but I think clearly when you talk about uh, his place uh, in history, uh, you think about that flashpoint and, and, and really what came out of that uh, beyond just, I mean, obviously the riot itself, then you had, of course, all of the different conversation that, that, that led to it in terms of looking at what is happening in inner cities across this country, but also the enormous spotlight that was put on police brutality uh, and what happens in this country, what happens to African-American men, uh, in particular when it comes to the police. Uh, and so Rodney King, uh, really, for years and years, anytime time we have any kind of conversation uh, on police brutality, uh, on, of course, you know, uh, with video being able to capture those things, Rodney King is going to live on in that way because he is going to be the story always brought up and, and the yeah. things are being compared. Any kind of beating caught on tape, it is going to be compared to yeah. Rodney King. That's a terrific point. CNN's Roland Martin, thanks very much for calling in. Rodney King didn't ask to be a symbol of racial intolerance and racial violence in this country, but certainly that is how he will be remembered. I want to turn now back to the